Paul Chen says the city's financial system remains resilient and warned against betting against the Hong Kong dollar. The financial secretary has said the city's massive foreign currency reserves and its stringent regulatory and surveillance systems can hedge against risks and volatility. Chloe Fong reports. As the Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit reached its finale, Financial Secretary Po Chen again boasted that the city remains the best financial center in Asia. Chen was delivering his second in-person speech at the stock exchange in Central after his unexpected brush with COVID. The confidence Chen said came from the city's disciplined and transparent regulatory and surveillance regime. He noted that Hong Kong's war chest of 430 billion U.S. dollars in foreign currency reserves is 1.7 times the city's monetary base and is a strong buffer against potential risks. So, if you bet against Hong Kong dollar, you are bound to lose. You can verify my advice with certain hedge fund managers in the U.S. <laughs> who has been wrong about Hong Kong dollar time and again. Stock exchange chairwoman Laura Cha stressed that connectivity should be strengthened to cope with the rising geopolitical tensions. We hear regionalization these days instead of globalization. But regionalization cannot exist by its own in isolation. Regions still need to be connected. And in a fragmented world, we need connectivity more than ever. Executives from nine leading investment management firms took part in two panel discussions on navigating the challenging landscape while creating value from the downturns. At the close of the three-day summit, Monetary Authority Chief Executive Heidi Yue told participants that next year's event will coincide with the 30th anniversary of the city's de facto central bank. He also said Hong Kong is regaining its energy and hoped that guests will enjoy the Rugby Sevens, which will kick off tomorrow. Hui Feng, HKIBC.